change is impacting the safety of our drinking water supplies. Warmer temperatures, combined with nutrient pollution, cause more frequent harmful algal blooms, which endanger human health, local economies, and the environment. The blue-green algae is already in the water itself, so in the spring and summer they start to bloom. They are affected by influxes of phosphorus and nitrogen. Those algae release some of these toxins into the water. Most algae and cyanobacteria are not harmful. However, some species bloom in excessive amounts and release toxins. Drinking water treatment plants in this country, the ones that treat water from lakes and rivers, were designed to remove particulates and microorganisms because back then they didn't know that alcohol toxins existed. Water treatment facilities face the difficult task of removing these toxins from our drinking water supplies safely and cost effectively. EPA scientists are helping communities deal with this challenge. We are sampling from the beginning right where the drinking water plant takes the water from the lake, river. Then we are taking samples within the drinking water plant after each different step of treatment. We are taking the sample at the end, the water that's going to end up in the taps. We can reproduce the water treatment facility in our laboratory so that we can study the removal of harmful algal, uh, the, the toxins themselves and, and, and uh, deal with the blooms uh, here under control conditions. EPA scientists look for ways to improve the performance of existing treatment plants by modifying the point where treatment chemicals are applied as well as the types and concentrations of those chemicals. We're finding that um, things such as uh, carbon can, can remove toxins to a certain extent and, and further oxidation uh, uh, can, can destroy the, uh, the, the toxins as well. The other thing we're, we're, we're finding is that if we physically remove the cells, if they're not destroyed uh, through the treatment train, then we also have um, good control of the toxins. We know that, that, that the advice we provide based upon the research we're doing uh, it is making a difference. EPA scientists expect more harmful algal blooms to occur as the climate continues to change. They're developing sensors to predict future algal blooms and working with communities to control nutrient pollution. The water that comes out of your tap is important to every single person in this country. It's something we can't live without. One of the things that we can do is provide every single man, woman and child with clean water, safe water every time they open a tap.